Now, forget till death do us part. This husband wants his wife kicked out of the country. And while he says I do to her being deported, all she wants is for him to show her the money. So that's his nickname, honey. That's his nickname. Did she take the wedding dress? Uh, she did. She has broken my trust and my family's trust and she's just used me as a guinea pig just to get what she wanted. He had plan and plotting, you know, to dump me, to use me and to take money from my parents. That was his planning and plotting, not mine. Oh dear, this isn't the happy matrimonial ending Nana and Canwell had in mind. So that's no longer above the bed? It is no longer above the bed, I'm afraid. Where is it? It's in, it's in the closet. Obviously, I don't want this thing with me forever. I'll take it off. But this bust-up hits where it really hurts. He didn't make any physical relationship with me. I'm not impotent. Low blows. She should be ashamed. A very terrible, disgusting person. And a love lost. It was not fake from my side. I went against my family to get married to Nana because I love me. As these nuptials turn very nasty indeed. You don't love her anymore. Oh, God, no. I don't think anybody would. They both might want out, but he wants her kicked out of the country for good. I don't think any person of this mentality deserves to be an Australian citizen. This is against Australian values. Dowry, an amount of property or money brought by a bride to her husband on their marriage. Common in many cultures, especially India. My parents spent huge money in my marriage. It was like a big fat wedding. Nana claims her parents splashed the cash when she tied the knot with Camwell. My parents gave him money. My parents gave his mother, his sister, his father, everyone gold and diamond jewelry. But Camwell claims he spent a lot more on Nana when she left India to come and live with him at his parents' home in Sydney. To go out every night, clubs, eat out, you know, expensive restaurants, wear expensive clothes, take her to places every single weekend. Did he take me to Bali or Switzerland or like where? I want to see pictures. Camwell claims Nana's long list of demands saw his parents forced out of their bedroom. Camwell's dad, Satpal. You got kicked out of your own bed. That's correct. <laughs> but we sacrifice for make my son to be keep happy. Is that possible if we move to master bedroom so that I can use washroom in the room, you know? It will be easy for me. This is what I said. But things really turned sour after Nana got her Australian permanent residency. So much for the pillow talk. Camwell says he copped a testy call from Nana's relative. Saying that I'm impotent and I'm not keeping Nana happy and he's going to file a case against me. I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. The couple were visiting India at the time where impotency is a valid excuse for divorce. I never got intimate with him. I never. Even on my wedding day, we didn't. She's unhappy uh, with the sex life, that I'm impotent. That was, that was something that has, she, she's charged me off. Um, I can tell you I'm not impotent. Nana filed a complaint with Punjab police. It included a demand for Camwell to repay the wedding dowry. All I want, give me back whatever my parents spent in this wedding and whatever my parents gave you, just give me back. But Camwell didn't hang around to face the Indian cops. He flew to Sydney to prove his innocence. First stop, the family doc who gave him a note confirming Camwell's a can-do man. He is a physically fit, you can see that. He has a doctor's certificate, he went to that. It's Australia, it's not from India. India, you can get a fake certificate or anything. But we are in Australia, luckily, thank God he came back and he got all this proof from him. There's nothing wrong with your son's manhood? No, definitely no. not. Why did he left India? Why did he flew back to Sydney? If you are not wrong, why would you hide yourself from police? If you're right, go and tell your story, tell everything truth about yourself. Police can't do anything. If I did not leave India at that point, I was going to be detained by the cops, uh, probably locked up uh, for crimes that I haven't committed. Well, Nana will never be welcome under this roof ever again. She could well make herself comfortable at the family's home in India.
This family fears if they don't front up and face the allegations there, then they might lose that property in compensation. Thank God we have a channel line here and we have a current affairs a team like you guys. We can prove our innocency. It's OK, it's OK. It's okay. Despite Kamal's protests to the Immigration Department, Nana's now rebuilding her life in Melbourne. Whatever we spent in this wedding, whatever my parents gave me jewellery and to his, him, we just want that. That's it. And a small punishment for Kamal. While Kamal reflects on a dowry dispute that's turned very dark indeed. How do you feel about Nana now? Hatred is it's not something that I'm going to use against this person, but I think a person of her caliber, of what she's done to me, should be absolutely ashamed just for the fact of getting some money out of somebody like me and just using me for, to get her straight in permanent residency is shameful. <laughs>